well, I don't know why we always have a tendency to fight the last war <laughs> instead of fighting the next war. I mean, look at manufacturing jobs. This is data from marketwatch.com. <clears throat> Uh, and this shows you the percentage of jobs, how many jobs are in, in our country, and this is just U.S. data, that are manufacturing. And look at how, way back in the 1940s, how big it was. Almost half our, our jobs were in the manufacturing. Now it's whoop, bupkis, down to nothing, right? <laughs> and we're still fighting about manufacturing jobs. You now they're going to come back. And, and, <laughs> and data don't lie, but liars can figure you know, it, it, and what's amazing is that uh, the economy since 1949 has not created one new manufacturing jobs. Listen to this. Okay, in 1949, we had 12 million manufacturing jobs, okay? Now, this is 19, I'm sorry, 2019. We still only have 20 million manufacturing jobs. So that's not a growth business, right? <laughs> and everybody's talking about, oh, that's going to be growing and all this stuff that's going to happen. <laughs> but look at what else is going on in our country. Okay, I got it now. Here's the article about FedEx. It's from Reuters.com. And look at, they're going to hire 700 flexible rural and residential drivers. Now, this is one the key about this thing. It, it's flexible. This is the kind of people, jobs that are growing. So big companies like this are just starting sort of like, you know, freelance employees is really what it boils down to. Uh, and and, and it's, this is the growth area. They're hiring 700. And, and I think to get one, one way to find out about where that's going on is that article in Reuters. Of course, you get the details there. But Glassdoor.com is a good place uh, to find these kinds of jobs or any kind of jobs, because particularly with the big corporations, because they all seem to uh, put their jobs available there. And, and what's neat about Glassdoor is, is that, uh, people who work there review the companies. So, you know, you don't have a recruiter or whatever telling you what's like. You get real people who work there, got fired or got raises or whatever. That's the kind of information you want. And that's all public information. So that's what's neat about that. Now, see, that's why these driving jobs, why is that going on? Because people aren't going to the a mall anymore to shop and they're going online and people have to deliver, right? So FedEx, UPS, all these people, you know, are hiring people. I mean, <laughs> it's amazing. UPS drivers make up to $145,000 a year. You know, uh, these drivers here, is, uh, they start sort of like $17, $18 an hour, maybe up to $30 an hour. That's the kind of range uh, they're in. But it, they're flexible drivers too. So you, <clears throat> it's not like a nine to five job or something like that. And, and the big people that do these, I mean, like Uber, that's another place. I mean, they're, they're, they're driving businesses, you know, um, jobs, and they're not really jobs. They're, you're a freelancer. Use your own car. And you make money. Uh, up to $25 an hour doing this stuff, you know, and you just work whenever the hell you want to. You don't want to work anymore, you don't. Look, at, Uber has like, uh, they estimate about 2 million drivers now. So this is a company that started like five years ago or whatever it is, you know, and they already have 2 million people in America making money from this company. That's right, the actual company is worth like $60 billion, no, billion dollars. <laughs> and they have virtually no employees because they're using you and your car. So that's what I mean, the gig economy. This is where, Lyft is another big one. And these people are growing fast too. And they have like a million and a half drivers in this uh, country. Uh, there's all kinds of, of companies like that that are doing that. And so all you need is a, a phone. You know, and, and an app. If you've got a cell phone, man, you got a job, you know, and, and it's very flexible. You work when you want, work, not, not work when you want. Uh, you make sure you get paid. That's not a problem with these platform kind of drivers. Now, here's another one, caviar, because uh, Uber even is driving more people, not driving people, but delivering like food. <laughs> My son works for them occasionally and wants, like, wants to make another extra hundred bucks. He just signs up opens his phone, goes out, makes a hundred bucks, comes home, and <laughs> that's enough for uh, what he needs for now. Uh, and, and that's why it's a great source of extra income without not a lot of hassle or whatever. You got to figure out, you know, how to use your iPhone. But once you figure it out, you use it forever. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the important thing. So these programs are available. Here's an article on, on something called Pood, uh, Money Pantry moneypantry.com, and, and they have 23 apps that pay for you to deliver food, grocery uh, packages, even out alcohol. So that's uh, moneypantry.com, and look for it. Get paid to deliver. See? 
and and that's you know they don't even see you you know it's done all, all <laughs> online <laughs> and your boss is an algorithm <laughs> that's what it is but that's the future if they you know these companies are hiring millions and millions of people <laughs> and manufacturing is shrinking down to nothing man you know, and these companies come out of nowhere and so obviously this is the growth in our country you gotta learn that okay so it takes a little time to learn the app stuff or whatever go to your local public library they tell you more about you're trying to sign up for one of these things a lot of public libraries have what they call uh, you make an appointment with a librarian and they help you through a process to get through you know the hurdle that you may have of getting online uh, to order something or set up a, uh, a Facebook account and things like this so check your local librarian see how you get help if you're afraid to uh, do this online yourself but uh, you stumble you call you stumble what the hell <laughs> you figure it out we all it's like learning to walk you're not gonna get up and just put one foot or the other and start running a race. No, you're gonna fall on your butt a hundred times before you learn. So try something new and start falling on your butt. <laughs> and that's what uh, Let's Go Help is about. I'll sh always show you more places uh, to get opportunities like this. Actually, I just came out with a new report. I haven't even published it yet, but if you remember Let's Go Help, I'll give it to you free. And it's about 40, 50 pages, has all kind of services like this that you could sign on to and make money with, either teaching uh, Chinese students English in your spare time and making you know $15 an hour, no degree, no nothing. See, a lot of these programs, they, they, they don't require degrees, commercial, I mean, some do, but most of them don't. So, so get out there, you just want somebody to do this stuff <laughs> and be flexible. <laughs> and flexibility is nice, because that means you can do it at home whenever the hell you want to, okay? <laughs> so ask me for the report about how to make money at home uh, without costing anything. So you're gonna go on the internet and find about how to do that. And there'll be people there who wanna charge you money. No, 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 no. <laughs> you don't have to pay a cent to learn how to make money on the internet at home because people want you to work. You're gonna have to do something, you just don't sit there and clip a coupon and people send you a check in the mail. No, maybe stupid stuff too. Do people pay you money to do stupid stuff? What the hell? <laughs> it's still money.